Number 59, letter A. How long can you play tennis on the 800 kilojoules, about 200 kilocalories of energy in a candy bar? So uh, let's take a look at the table in the upper right. Let's find where tennis is. So playing tennis, you're going to, you're going to be consuming uh, energy at about 400, and, at a rate of 440 watts. So we now know the wattage, right, or the power. We need to know time. And they told us the energy expenditure. So I'm thinking about using this particular formula on the right-hand side. And this one says that the power is equal to the work done divided by the time. We're looking for time, so simply solve this for time first. So that is the work over the power, right? Just simply switch those two variables like a cross multiplication. And now to figure out the time, I need to know these two variables, work and power. Power needs to be in watts and work needs to be in joules. So this shouldn't be that bad, right? They gave me the uh, work in the problem in kilojoules, but not a big deal, right? I just have to convert that into joules. So essentially it would be 800 times 1000. That should be fairly straightforward to bring it into joules and then divide it by the power. And they said that tennis is about, you know, requires a power of about 440 watts. So the time now is going to be 800 times 1,000 and divide it by 440. So here we have a time value of about, how many sig figs? It looks like about three sig figs or so, right? So it's about 1.82 times 10 to the three uh, seconds, okay? Almost 2,000 seconds. All right, so that's the time. Does this seem like a long time? Well. I don't know, Second, I don't even know how many minutes or hours this is, right? So why don't we convert this to hours? Uh, because since they're playing tennis, right, we usually think in terms of most likely the match or you're playing for an hour, two hours, three hours, etc. Or it could be like that longest match in history, right? That was over five hours. That was, that was quite intense. Um, so here, if we take our answer in seconds, right, uh, put seconds on the bottom, hour on the top, remember that there's 3,600 seconds in, in an hour. And therefore, I can convert this right now to hours. So it's basically 1.82 times 10 to the third divided by 3,600. This works out to about a half an hour, okay? 0 0.506 hours. All right, so, so does this feel like a long time? Mm, yeah, I guess so. You know, it does. I mean, if you think about it, you know, you get to, a, how long does it take you to enjoy a candy bar? A couple of minutes, two minutes? I mean, for me, it's probably about 30 seconds because I scarf them down. But, you know, are those 30 seconds of pleasure really worth the half an hour that now I'm going to have to exercise? So it does seem kind of long, you know. Um, so I guess that's why they're saying exercise is necessary, but may not be sufficient to cause a person to, uh, to lose weight because all you, need to, all you really need to do is eat a candy bar a day and, you know, let's say you're working out for 45 minutes a day literally 30 of those minutes just went to burning off that candy bar, right? I mean, it all depends on how much else you're eating and so on and so forth. If you only ate one candy bar a day, you're going to lose weight. Again, not very complicated weight loss, energy in versus energy out for the most part. So if you consume more energy and more mass than you expend, guess where it's going? And vice versa, if you were to right? Expend more energy than you consume, then you'll be losing weight. All right. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Definitely helps us out tremendously. And it also helps out other students just like yourself uh, that would have better access to, you know, these questions. All right. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.